So do you have enough evidence now to say that Trump has... I don't even watch it. You don't, you don't pay attention to the facts as they come out? No, because we'll have a trial, and all we'll do is sit in the Senate for six weeks, potentially, and do nothing but hear the facts, so... So as a, the time, as a senator on the Senate Intelligence Committee, you don't pay attention to the facts I mean, read the and the materials? The, no. Just the headlines? You don't, no, well, not, not yet. Any of the documents that have come out? No, because we're going to have a trial. If, if they impeach him, there'll be a trial in the Senate. So you know and less than I do? Because <laughs> I, I saw the headlines? Know. Because I don't know what you I, I know enough well, to see it. that if I had done as you know a private in the military one one thousandth of the things that Trump had done, yeah. I'd be spending the rest of my life in the if, if the President of the United States, the Commander in Chief, has, has invited a foreign adversary to attack our democratic processes, has not just invited him but bribed him with no, but congressionally that's approved military yeah, but that's your assessment. That's not that's, that's not in the transcript that he released. He admitted to it. Mulvaney well, no, no, no. well, admitted to it. He said we do it. He said we do it all the time. <laughs> well, do, do, were you not? I mean, Mick Mulvaney read any of those documents? No, Mick Mulvaney's not being impeached. You're talking about the president, and the bottom line is that we're going to have. I mean, I understand, yeah, it, but it, we have a process for. So, this. do you believe it was a perfect conversation? No, I already said that, but that's you doesn't make it okay. You can disagree with the president how he operates. You can sure. disagree with the decisions that sure. he makes. Right. Just policy disagreements. So, are not impeachable. would you say? So, you think it's just a policy disagreement to use military aid? At this point, I honestly don't know what's worse. The fact that Trump used American taxpayer dollars to bribe a foreign country into doing a political favor for him in the next election, or the fact that Republican senators who aren't even involved would nonetheless contract every shred of their dignity to defend his behavior. Marco Rubio apparently doesn't seem to mind either one, as he twists himself into pretzels to avoid acknowledging the blatantly obvious. That no, it's probably not okay for the President of the United States to embroil himself in an international extortion scheme for dirt on his political opponent. Rubio starts off by claiming ignorance, that he doesn't watch any of the news, that he hasn't seen any of the testimony, won't read any of the articles because what's the point when he'll just be a juror in Trump's impeachment trial in the Senate? In other words, this is a politician who gets paid $174,000 a year from our taxpayer dollars to be a politician whose defense is that he hasn't bothered to follow the impeachment of the President of the United States. And look, I'm not gonna try and tell Marco Rubio how to do his job, but you think that, you know, staying up to date on the basics of the leader of his party's bribery scandal and subsequent indictment that's only happened two other times in American history might be, I don't know, moderately relevant? And look, this should go without saying, but Marco Rubio, a United States Senator, clearly knows what's happening. It's just that the GOP's position is so egregiously indefensible that literally the only option here is just to play pretend and act like you don't know what's going on. Because if he did have to defend his position, the only answer humanly possible is no, are you out of your mind? Of course it is not okay for the President of the United States to bribe a foreign country into doing his political bidding. But because that would take a modicum of a Fine. We're instead left with Donald Trump, impeached, didn't know anything about it. Rubio then tries to cast doubt on Trump's actions by claiming that the very basis for his impeachment, him leveraging military assistance on political favors, is simply one way to assess the situation. Except it's not so much an assessment as the assessment. This is what happened. It's not subjective. We have a summary of the call that Trump himself released, wherein he literally says the words, I would like you to do us a favor though, before requesting investigations into some conspiracy theory that the DNC server is in Ukraine and into Joe Biden. And then, literally 91 minutes after asking for certain conditions to be met, he ordered nearly $400 million in military assistance to be withheld. 91 minutes later. American officials, including Gordon Sondland, testified under oath that everyone knew the investigation announcement was a condition for the release of the aid. Even Ukrainian officials themselves have admitted that they knew the announcement of the probe into Biden was a condition for the release of the aid. I mean, this couldn't be more cut and dry if Trump's own chief of staff admitted it from a White House podium, oh wait, he did. But the most disingenuous claim of all was Marco Rubio suggesting that Trump's criminal behavior was nothing more than a policy disagreement, which he claims isn't impeachable. In other words, and forgive me if I sound like a broken record, but I just feel like this might be worth repeating, especially since apparently not everyone's gotten the memo. This United States Senator thinks that Trump committing bribery, which is expressly named in the Constitution as an impeachable offense, to exact the self-proclaimed favor of dirt on his top political opponent while he held nearly $400 million in military assistance to a country at war is a 
policy disagreement. That's like claiming running someone over in your car is a driving disagreement. It's not a policy disagreement, it's a criminal offense. It's the single most egregious act of corruption by a president in American history. It is perhaps the crime that our founding fathers were most explicit about protecting against in the Constitution. A Constitution that senators like Marco Rubio swore an oath to uphold, but who's instead pretending that he hasn't looked at the news in the last three months because he'd rather defend a criminal than our democracy.